talk to me, man. Uh -uh. One drive to go. You got one running back, Timmy Newsom. Are we gonna go with uh, Richard Huntley? Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I would probably. Oh my God. That's a tough question. Um, and you put me on the spot. <laughs> Um, I would probably say, um, you know, I played with Timmy, um, and I know, uh, you know, Tim was one of those guys that uh, uh, he'll take a shot, and he wants to get out of the ball game, and I tell him to stay in the huddle, and we give him the football, and he take it 90 yards for a touchdown. Um, you know, Richard is, 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 is a phenomenal back, was phenomenal in his day. Oh, my God, that's a tough one, but I would, I would have to go with my running partner, Timmy Newsom. <laughs> Quarterbacks, best one you ever had. Is he coaching with you? Yeah, I, I would say yeah. Um, he he was phenomenal, um, and uh, this young man went a whole season without throwing an interception. Right, uh, and we threw the football almost three hundred times. So I'll tell you a little bit more about his accuracy and, and his focus and, and his ability to play the game at a high level. Um, but you know, it, it, it's 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 not hard, but it is hard because I've had some fantastic kids in uh, uh, in my fold that, that I've coached. But I would probably say for the overall aspect of it, he's probably the best I've had. All right. Ninety nine or two thousand, Winston Salem State Rams. You got to take one of them out there with you. Wow, it, it wouldn't matter because they're the same team. Mm -hmm. um, we um, we didn't lose anything off of the '99 team going to 2000, um, and, and that was a purpose of building a program with young kids. Um, but you know, when I look back on those days uh, from '99 to 2000, guys like Daryl Wilson and Deron Alexander, uh, the Woodburys, and I mean, those kids were just phenomenal. Stephon Kelly was on, on one of those teams. Uh, we just had phenomenal talent. Robert Mackey and Connell Brown, um, Dominique Vaughn. Uh, we, we had some kids who were just awesome kids. They were awesome on the field as well as off. And I think all those guys are being real successful in what they're doing right now. And at the end of the day, that's really the only thing that really matters. Right, yeah, I talked to a lot of your players, and, and, and a lot of them, you know, the, all, that's the one thing they all say. They all say that you help prepare them for life, uh, especially one of my good friends, Jonathan Wedlock. He, you know, every, every time you know, every time we say anything JCSU, or he brings your name up at least once a week. He always says that you prepare your guys for life after football. Is that kind of what you want your legacy to be when, when it's all said and done and you're doing with this? When, when it's all said and done, you know, the, the wins are good and, and, and the championships are good, but the real, the real championship – is when you get comments like you just gave me from Jonathan Wedlock and uh, and you see guys that you coached in, 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 the, f in, in the future and uh, 10 years past their playing time and, and, they, and they thank you for what you did to help them. And, and realistically, there's no thanks needed because that's just who I am. Um, but it, it's more to football than just being a football coach. You know, you want to make sure that uh, you leave something with these young men to carry with them other than the experiences on the field. So. I'm, I'm going to stay uh, firm to that. I've always been that way, and, and I won't change that. This is, this is a real last question. Uh, you play for a coach, uh, one of the great coaches in, uh, Bill Hayes. Um, what is something that he taught you that sticks with you to this day? Wow. The, the one thing that I didn't take from him was, was being able to crowd on the spot. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Coach Hayes was one of those guys who, were, who was a motivator. Um, he could get the best out of whoever was on his football team. That's what made him so successful. Uh, I've tried to carry some of that with me uh, and been able to motivate a kid to get uh, the most out of him you can. Um, but at the same time, his just his hard work. You know, he 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 worked just as hard as, as anybody else on the staff or that team. Um, and 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 those things you you know you carry with you. You know, the timeliness, uh, making sure that uh, kids understood that. Uh, or he was making sure that we understood that um, there was a time factor involved and, and uh, whatever we did, we did in a timely manner and uh, the discipline was there. Uh, those were the things that uh, uh, really bring me back to him. Um, uh, the things that tie us together is the discipline, the timeliness and, and, and the ability to motivate. We, um, we, um, 
yeah, we had a we had a, a great football. That was Monte Purvis's mm-hmm. uh, and Jed Bynes and Mark Hicks. That was those guys getting it on, and we had some talent on that team. Um, you know, I think the most talent that that I had is I left there when I left. Um, we we redshirted in two thousand nine. We redshirted about thirty five kids, and. Uh, they ended up playing on the, most of them played on the 2010, 11, 12, 13 team. Uh, some of those guys transferred out, but it was a lot of talent left there. Right, yeah, you're talking about Carlos Fields there. Absolutely. Uh, Jordan Reed that went to play for NC Central. Right. Uh, I think uh, Ward, yeah, of course, you know, Nick Cooper played a little bit that first year. Right. Um, what about uh, William Hayes? Oh, so. 07. You know he was on uh, he was on the team that uh, well, uh, he just dominated everybody that year um, from Delaware State to uh, whoever we played he dominated and and uh, you, he had it written all over him he was just written on him that you knew he was going to be a guy uh, that was going to get a shot um, Richard uh, uh, William was one of those guys man that uh, you had to slow him down every day you know. Either he was going to talk mm. or he was going to be at 120%. So the only way I could slow him down was make him flip the heel uh, to keep him out of, out of stuff. But uh, he was just a phenomenal guy, dominant in every game he played in 07. In fact, we went to the Circuit City Classic, and I think he made it set his mark there because it was an NFL uh, arena. Um, and uh, we had FAMU there, and he just dominated the whole football game for four quarters. I was there. That was his, that was his combine. He didn't get to the NFL combine, but right. that was that, that was his was combine that right was, there. That was his that was his uh, preview on stage right there. And Tony Dungy said to me uh, after that ball game, he said, "Coach, you told me you had one. Now I believe you." Um, and and that's when I think William Hayes really set his mark. And. Oh. 